I'm Laura. Today I'm really excited to show you how to make this paper pirate ship. You'll need six sheets of cardstock. I use brown so that my ship looks like it's made of wood. You'll also need plain paper. Grab a pen, a marker, something to color with, scissors, glue, and tape. String is optional. I'm using a template that is available for a small fee on my Etsy shop called Fanfaron. If you'd rather not purchase a template, that's fine. You can still make a pirate ship. Just pay close attention to the shapes of the pieces so that you can draw them yourself. First, I'm going to show you how to make the masts and the sails. I printed the templates for these on regular white paper, but feel free to use color paper. The shorter mast on the front of the ship is called the foremast. It will have two sails. The taller mast in the back half of the ship is called the main mast. Ours will have three sails. Start by coloring the sails if you want to. I'm coloring mine black, but you could also leave them white. A pirate symbol with a skull like this is generally referred to as a Jolly Roger. Now, pirates didn't usually put the Jolly Roger on a sail because they wanted their ships to stay camouflaged until they are ready to attack. Then they ran the Jolly Roger up on a flag. So, the colors used on the Jolly Roger were often white, black, or red. And when you're finished coloring, go ahead and cut out all of your sails on the dotted lines. To make the foremast, that's the shorter one. Cut a piece of paper in half on the dotted line or fold it hot dog style and cut it in half. It will look like this. Get three strips of tape ready about this length. Then use a cylinder shaped item such as this marker and start to wrap your paper around it. It can be a little tricky and it's okay if you need to try it a couple of times before you get one that you like. When you've got it wrapped, go ahead and tape it in three places with that tape that you got ready. First, tape it in the middle, then tape it near the top, and at the bottom, tape it maybe an inch and a half from the bottom. Shake that marker out. Then take your scissors and make three slits about an inch long on the bottom. Try to make them a similar size. And then you're going to fold those slits out. Just like this. So that when you sit your mask up, it should sit straight up. If it's leaning a little bit, you might need to just make your cut or your fold a little bit deeper to match the others. Okay? The main mast, the taller one, is very similar. This is a half sheet of paper. This is a quarter of a half sheet of paper. I'm going to overlap them a little bit, tape it, and then roll it around the marker as same as I did with the four mass. If you have two markers that fit together, mine don't, but if yours do, that might help you have something longer to roll your cylinder around. And when you finish rolling, you're going to tape this in four places since it's larger. And then you'll do the same thing with the slits at the bottom. Now you're going to attach your sails to the mast. I've already done the main mast. To do that, turn your sails upside down. Make sure the flat part of the sails is at the top. Set your mast on top. Line your sails up where you'd like them to be. And then Just put tape around the mast and press it down onto the sail. 
Make sure you put the sails kind of close together so that when you put the ship together, the sails will show up above the actual size of this ship. And there you have it. I am working on coloring the whole of my ship now. This is the port side, which means that if you are in the ship facing forward, this is what's on the left side. I'm coloring the stripe red, and then these are the gun ports that the cannons stick out of. So as you can see, there's a lot of gun ports. This is the mouth of the cannon, so I color the outside of the cannon black, and this would be the inside if there's no cannonball in there. I just made that gray. Also added a name to my ship. I decided to call it Revenge, so you can think of your own ship name. And maybe if you wanted to, you could draw an anchor on here, or perhaps on the starboard side, which is the right side of the ship. You could put an anchor and a chain there. When you're finished with your coloring, go ahead and take your scissors, cut out on those black dashed lines, don't touch those gray dotted lines, those are for folding. I've cut out most of my pieces, but as you can see, I didn't quite finish cutting out this piece because I wanted to show you a little trick about how to do that. These little tabs are easier to make if you go ahead and you fold this first. So all the folds are going to be folded backwards on this dotted gray line and your ship will come together much better if you're really careful about making your folds right on the line and pressing them down good. So I'm going to go ahead and make this fold all the way across. And after you've made the fold, it's a little easier to cut out each of these tabs. And just cut both sides. Turn your scissors in there to cut on that dashed black line. Just be careful about where you cut because you don't actually want to cut off your folding tabs that you're going to glue on. I accidentally almost cut one of those off so watch carefully while you're doing that part and then just fold all of those dotted gray lines backwards. I haven't shown you these pieces of the ship yet. This is the base of the ship on the forward part, and this here is the base of the back, and then the actual back of the ship. And the back of the ship is usually called aft. So as you can see, there's a gray dotted line here, so you are going to fold this carefully and press down on that dotted line. And you may have noticed there's a few more black dash lines on here. This is some cutting that needs to be done by an adult. So the easiest way that I found to cut these holes out, um, these are actually the holes where the mass will go, is to just um, stick a pin in there to get a starter hole. And then go ahead and take some scissors and cut around the edge of the hole. Now my hole that I put on this template is just a guide for the size of it. What you're actually trying to do is make this a size where your mast will fit through the hole. So depending on how thick your mast is, your hole might need to be a little bit smaller or a little bigger than the hole that I'm making there. All right, get your glue stick out because it is time to assemble this ship. Start by putting glue on this front tab and hooking your port side and your starboard side together. Make sure you line up the dotted lines. Press it down good, you want, to, want that to stay together. Then turn it over and put a good amount of glue on each of the tabs of your port side. To put it onto your base, you're going to line it up with the point and then just start pushing these pieces 
underneath like that. Press them down real good because if you don't that glue will try and slip on you. And after you've got that side down, put glue on the tabs on the other side and stick them under just the same thing that you did on the port side. Now for the back half of the ship. I think I forgot to tell you, all of these little things here, these are actually windows for the captain's cabin. And I thought it'd be pretty fun to draw a captain in one of the windows. So there's my pirate captain with his curly mustache and his eye covered up there. So first thing to do is glue the tabs on the sides of these pieces here together. I can line up my red stripe. Do the same thing on the other side. Don't get to press it down good. Then sit that ship back up again. More glue. And just slide that underneath like so. And again, press down really good. Do that on this tab, and then we're ready to put our two pieces together. To put the two halves of the pirate ship together, put glue in three places. Here's the first, here's the second, and here's the third. Slide the back half into the front half. Line everything up to where you want it to be. And then press it firmly. The last item of business here is to attach the masts. I'm going to start with four masts. Push these pieces back together. And thread them through the hole that you made in the base of the ship. Then open them back up again and place some tape over each tab. Just like that. When you turn it over, your mask should be standing up. And you're going to be doing the exact same thing with your main mast. My masts have done a really good job of standing up on their own just the way that I showed you to attach them to your ship. But if for some reason you have trouble and your masts are kind of falling over, here's an option. You can take some string and tape it to the back of the mast and then you can make a hole in the side of the ship or even maybe just tape on the inside of the ship and just pull it tight from the mast to both sides of the ship and it will look kind of like rigging of the ship but it will hold your mast upright and you could do that behind each sail and that will give you a lot of extra support if you need it. Yay! If you'd like to make the Kraken, the octopus creature, he's a free download on my website fanforonbylaura.com. Also, I made the pirates by following the directions in my paper people video. Thanks for watching!